at this little coffee shop place called Avenue Brew. Um, and right now, we are currently on our way to Walmart to hopefully get a mirror for the baby's room. Our goal today is just like to hang around the house and like get things done. I really want to get my hospital bag packed. I want to get the nursery finished as possible. That'd be ideal. And then like just clean a couple other things because I'm just like freaked out now that the baby's going to come like any day. Especially after my 36 week appointment which when we get to the house I'll talk about that like the group B strep test and the cervical check and all of that um, but definitely signs that the baby is gonna be here sooner than later so um, we're just kind of trying to get a couple things done we're gonna take you guys along with us give you like a little sneak peek of the nursery and hopefully we can finish these things today it's like really hot this weekend so it feels super good out I finally can like shed the, the sweaters and the the pants I feel like my legs haven't seen the sun in like nine months so it's been a long winter like increasingly harder to walk around with my SI joints and stuff. <laughs> I was like they're gonna separate. Okay so we just got back from Walmart. We actually got a good like haul of things. They actually had what we needed. So we picked up a new trash can and I, this one actually is way better than our old one. So super excited about that because I broke it. <laughs> And then this is the mirror we got for the baby's room. So if we don't like it, we might put the one we have in our room in here, but we're gonna try it out and see which one we like better first. All right, so I've got my raspberry red leaf tea. I'm trying to drink to help strengthen my uterus and all of that. I mix it with like a strawberry lemonade and make it taste better because I hate tea by itself and I'm definitely drinking it iced. But here to tell you guys about my experience with my first cervical check and the strep B test. So first of all, I was terrified to do the strep B test. Everyone made it seem like it was the worst thing in the world because they stick like a Q-tip up there and so I was probably nervous about that the most the whole pregnancy, but I will say it is not bad. Like it is literally nearly not as bad as they make it seem. So essentially it's like a normal pap smear, how that would feel. And then they literally just graze, at least with my doctor, <laughs> they just like graze the Q-tip along like the bottom area. So it was not bad at all. The cervical check, was not that great. I think mine though was a little different just because like at first it felt like it was more like a yearly checkup kind of thing, just a lot of pressure. And then it kind of got a little bit painful because she had to really get up in there because baby's head is right there. I mean, he is like, she could feel his head. So she had to go behind his head to get to the cervix. So. It was a little more painful for me, I think, because she had to do it more and she had to, like, go, like, really get in there. So, I feel like if you're going for, like, a normal cervical check, it wouldn't be as bad. Um, I don't know. That was my first one. Um, wasn't, like, the most pleasant experience. I mean, it's over pretty quick. So, you know, it's not, like, the worst thing in the world. But it was definitely more painful than I thought. And probably more painful than it needed to be just because of where the baby's head is. Like, he is ready to come out so that's kind of like my experience with both of those things like I said I'm 36 weeks pregnant this is about the time that you get um that going um I'm going every week now to the doctor so um my OB does not do cervical checks every week <laughs> thank god because <laughs> that would really suck she just doesn't think it's necessary to do um so I only have to get that one unless I want another one but I'm good I think I'll be fine. I'll know when he's ready to come. Kyle loves the vacuum now. The 
because of our vacuum. We have to get this kitchen cleaned up. That's my goal today, is to get this kitchen cleaned up, our bedroom cleaned up, and the nursery done. So, you see it now. Dirty, dirty, semi-dirty. And then now, clean, clean, and clean. It's time to get the stroller in the car. This is crazy. We're gonna get the car seat in there, stroller. Tyler's currently getting the car all nice and cleaned out so that we can clean for our nice new stroller to go in there. And then eventually we're gonna take the base and the car seat by the fire station as long as baby doesn't come in the next like week. Um, and then they can like show us how to properly put it in there and make sure it's like secure and all that. Yay! Probably even put it on like a side for more space. How that come out? Okay. How's it feel getting the stroller in the car? It's good. Hi, Bigster. You guys are so cute. They're looking at the mirror right themselves. <laughs> they are. Pixel's like, what in the world? That was cute. <laughs> hey, cute Bigster. family. All right. We are working on getting everything put up. Baxter has, he sees himself in the mirror. Baby's got a lot of books already. So I'm gonna get the books inside here. I'm gonna also find like some um, like bins to put in there. I got this from Ikea. So I'm hoping that like regular bins from somewhere else will work in there. If not, we have to get the Ikea ones. I don't really like the Ikea ones as much, but I really like this little uh, organizer it'll stay here for right now I think we may eventually move it but for right now this fits like perfectly right here so I think we'll keep it here unless you know once he comes we decide to like completely change everything because that happens too but I want to get like all these little books I got this awesome golden book set from Costco it was 20 bucks and you get all eight of these books so I'm gonna get these in there and then hopefully find a bin for like all his toys get the closet organized because right now that's the closet there's a lot of stuff in there I'm trying to get all this stuff put away he yeah, got his little book stash going I'm sure he'll have a ton more eventually we'll probably need to get like a different bin for all the books but I'll probably like once he gets more maybe just like rotate them out every now and then once he's able to grab them and look at them and read them but this is what we've got so far I totally wasn't gonna finish this vlog um because I'm like absurdly tired but this is a part of the pregnancy journey so I figured I'd share with you that after we went to dinner like I just so exhausted that I told Tyler I'm like I just want to lay on the couch for the rest of the night and watch TV so this is this is 36 weeks pregnant y'all this is the reality of the situation I feel like this weekend the symptoms and stuff just got like 10 times worse and I'm just very tired <laughs> I'm very tired and I just feel so like heavy and a lot of pressure and run down so I'm just retiring for the night I'm gonna end the vlog here Tyler's actually going to give us milkshakes so <laughs> that's I'm like super excited about that hopefully they're really good we go to this place called graders which is near us and they're usually really good if they make them right so um He's going to go get us some milkshakes. We're going to continue watching Lock and Key on Netflix Season 2. We're getting close to the end, so we're going to do that and just relax. Because I have to go back to work tomorrow and I'm not ready. <laughs> so, hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog. And um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.